Good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, everyone. Welcome to the European University Rocketeers Championship 2022, sponsored by Psyonix. Through national qualifiers across Europe, through two Winter Cups, through four Open qualifiers, we've gathered 40 of the best collegiate Rocket League teams on the continent. Tonight, they're going to be playing their first matches in URC 2022, setting out on the road to the CRL World Championship with a clash with the best teams that North America has to offer. And along the way, there's the chance of the £10,000 prize pool. I told you, it's going to overtime. Didn't I say that at the top of this game? I know I did. I know you heard me. And I know that this was always where the series was going to go. One more shot, Luis B. It only takes him six seconds. It only takes six. Navi, you're going to the regional, baby. That's my boy rattling the crossbar. And it'll still be shaking and twanging for a few seconds after that play. Big demo on the goal. Luis B is down and will respawn on the right side of the play, but not right enough necessarily. That's Luis P. No, what a miss. It's an own goal. It's an own goal. Not saved. How did Virtuoso get to that ball? Are you kidding me? What a beautiful triple commit. It's rare that you see a triple commit work out that <laughs> cleanly for a team, but uh, one player hits the ball, two go sailing in the left directions. And all in all, just beautiful coordinated effort. 10 out of 10 for the synchronized diving on that one. But unfortunately, it's still Rocket League and you still have offense coming at you. Oh, and you wow. Solo trying to drive it straight down the throats of Doran Nima. But they stand firm for the time being. They still have a one-goal lead. Here comes Sebadam popping it over. Sebadam has the pace to beat out the defense. And it's a tie ball game with only a minute left on the clock. And I think in the 35 seconds from kickoff there, Windesheim didn't get a look at one of the 100 boost pads. They were just penned up on the goal line kept under pressure from Exterminators who carry on exactly where they left off in game three, in game four, and they are looking to keep going here as well. There's the back corner boost picked up by Slendermoss, so this is a chance now for Windesheim to move forward. There's another boost picked up in the middle of the pitch. So this should be a nice little period of Windesheim pressure, but they will need to capitalize. Held scoreless in the last game. They haven't even produced a shot. There's the shot, there's the goal! Exactly what Windesheim needed a minute into game five. Red chance, port. chance, chance, Yummy's oh. awkward, Yummy's oh. awkward, that's oh. it, that's it, crossbar, get Redport, get there, Gilzo, get there, somebody, <laughs> gets there first, I don't know how, there's one more chance, Redport's too far in front of the plate, Gilzo, the 15 oh, needs to be no. good, Jenga oh, has Jenga. Boost. the redirect oh, needed to be better, no. it was an attempt, they tried hard, one team still to go home, and absolutely no hints as to which one it will be just yet. As Emre is underneath that ball, Tigre with the 50. It'll be there for Vert, for Luis P. A little bit of confusion in the middle of the pitch. has left Luis P in an awkward spot. He's dealt with it well, though. And it'll turn around. Luis P is running out of boost. Is that just on? Is that just on? Speed racing back. Won't make it. It's a goal. And it's Luis P who finds it in a minute 45 left on the clock. It's Navi who have found the first goal of this game. Shots on target, but Hibbs with the save. Ball oh! kept up. No oh! way. Another one. Zero second winner for Navi. You might be 0 0 Nation. Welcome to the 0 0 Empire, because that's when Navi are choosing to score every single time. Two games in a row, one by the buzzer beater.